अहो बतमहत्पापम् कर्तुं व्यवसिता वयम् यद्राजसुखलोभेना हन्तुं स्वजनमुद्यताहा Intent on killing our own people for the greed of royal pleasures, we are, alas, engaging in great sin. Again, he's including Krishna in that. Krishna has no greed for royal pleasures. Krishna doesn't stand to benefit from this battle at all. And he has shifted suddenly from culture, kula dharma, family tradition, to rajya sukha lobha, which is greed for royal pleasures. This is the state of mind when you fall a prey to the emotions. And you must understand, emotions are wonderful provided they are held in place by the intellect. The moment they go out of control, you are an, in a precarious situation. So we are all in that precarious situation because the mind has taken over somewhere or the other. And therefore the world is in such a chaotic state. Every pocket of the world there is some confusion somewhere. Either there is a war going on or there is financial problems going on or the families are tearing each other apart. Something or the other is going wrong in the world. Because of this, the mind has gone berserk and the intellect has no control. If you just focus on this, today is the last day. We started with intellect should be greater than the mind. And we are seeing the effects of what happens when the mind takes over. So if you go home today with the conviction that I must operate out of my intellect, I cannot allow my emotions to take over. And I must pass this knowledge on to others, the younger generation. How can you pass it on unless you're living it? So at least gift them knowledge. When you give a gift, what do you do? Most people gift what is totally useless to them. So instead of throwing it in the junk, you gift wrap it and give it to somebody else. Or you gift chocolates and mithai. Give them something valuable. You know, Rabindranath Tagore's older brother, uh, they were all uh, westernized and uh, educated in the western school. And so they didn't know their own culture. And when he was sitting in his estate one day, a piece of paper flew towards him and that piece of paper had a mantra from the Isha Vasya Upanishad. He read it and he was absolutely astounded. It changed his life forever. So this is the effect that can be brought about to your relatives and friends and family members if you just give something of value, a book, a CD, something. Spread this knowledge because we have no... Time is not on our side. You have to, the, the emergency is, it's like when you have a car stroke, you can't sit there and say, tomorrow morning I'll go to hospital. You have to do it immediately. Similarly, when you realize the precarious situation that you are in, you take action immediately. And the rewards are enormous. You will change from a weakling, from a fearful person, from a person who has no control over himself, to a steady, mature person within the period of one year. Then to get to realization is a far cry. All you have to do is devote just one hour to the study and uh, reflection on this knowledge. Now why am I saying it? You might say, you have nothing better to do, therefore you are talking about it. No. It's because the only thing that has helped me is this. When you are in trouble and all of us are in trouble sometime or the other, you can only fall back on this knowledge. No one else can help you. Your family members can't help you, however much they may want to. No one else can help you. The Turkish Deputy Prime Minister has said that openly in a press conference. When Turkey was going through uh, terrible conditions, one journalist asked him, how do you manage to keep your cool? And he said, in my office, I keep a copy of the Bhagavad Gita. And any time I'm in stress, any time I'm up against a challenge, I go back and open the Bhagavad Gita to any page and I find my answer there. 
You know, people all over the world are studying the Gita except us. So take it. It will make a difference to your life. That's the only reason I'm saying it. Next verse.